here. Like that, see? No hands yet. If your frame is wrong, you can't throw. If Hey guys, Dave Loach, Altair, Dad Blodge, you know. Okay, today I got a special video for you. What I want to do is I want to show you like how to learn a throw. There's several different ways to learn any type of throw, any technique. So this is just one way. This is one way that I found is very effective, especially when you're starting to learn a brand new throw. And actually also, if you actually know the throw and you want to go back and kind of relearn it, it's also really good too. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. And, um, you know, if you have any comments or questions about this, put it in the comment section and I'll return your comment, okay? So let's give it a shot. Typically, when we learn to throw, we have three parts of a throw, okay? It's Kazushi, you know, balance, the Sakuri, the turn, and Kake is the actual execution of the throw. Three parts of a judo throw. Now, which is all going to be done in this video, but it's going to be done in a different way. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take Taitoshi, for example. When you're doing a throw like Taiyatoshi, the frame, the position is the most important part. It's where you want to go, the goal of where you want to be when you're actually doing the throw. So if I work by myself first, okay? So I want the Taiyatoshi to be this way. So I want the frame to be, if I'm doing a ready tile, I want the frame to be where my legs bent, my, my chest is up, my hands are here, my legs bent, and I'm in a good position where I can actually throw. And this is what I want to feel. I want to feel this position, this is the end position basically of where I want to be when I throw. So I want to be this way, like that. So if I'm working with my partner and I don't need to grab him yet, I just need to be able to put myself in a position where I can actually feel this and where I am where he is. And so once I get this, but now I can do that a couple hundred million times and then I can get that frame happening. So if he's standing here like this, and I just want to move into it like that. Okay, so I want to feel this position either by myself or this way so that I know where he is in terms of like the positioning, right? So I can actually f move. Also, I want to be able to have the ability to be able to move here, right? And to, to be able to throw from here. So it has to, if your frame is wrong, you can't throw. If I'm way too far and I'm trying to throw, I'm gonna bounce, it's too hard. This is, it's not good for me. Some people it might be, but for me it's not, okay? So I have to be a little bit closer. My legs have to be bent, have to be here like this. So that's the first part of it. So your frame, where you end up is really important. So that'd be it. The second thing is, is the entry. So the entry, the Sakori, right? So you want to be able to find yourself moving. So first, you want to do it by yourself. So for Taiyatosh, for example, you're going to move boom, boom, boom like that. So it's going to be here, boom, 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 like that. So it's here, boom. So you get used to this motion here, like that, okay? So and I'm ending up in this frame all the time. Like that. And once I get used to that and I feel good, then I can add my partner in. So I move here, like that. See, no hands yet because I want to be able to get used to this motion where where I'm moving in like that. So it's, and you can see, like I, I feel the, the position as I move in. That's really important. So as I practice, I have a good position now. I'm solid. Now I can end up throwing from here. So the first position, or the first step, is your positioning, your frame, the way you end up. The second is the movement in, and that movement in is practiced over and over again until it becomes muscle memory like this and you end up in that frame. The third thing is, is kind of where you grip and how you pull. My gripping has to be appropriate for that throw. So with Thai Toast, right? Right about here at the elbow, even at the end, depending on how, much, how far away you want to be. And the power hand has to be set like this. So you have the power hand. I have a video in the power hand where you set your power hand this way, like that. So I have this motion where now I have, I'm working towards the frame. Now I'm gonna do put the Kazushi in. So the Kazushi is gonna be here. So as I step, the Kazushi happens like this. 
and you want to get used to this motion where you're used to putting yourself in that position where you're pulling and that kazushi is your whole body it's not just your arms it's really your whole body that, that turns somebody and the momentum that you generate so from here it's boom 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 now i can pull myself into the frame where i want to be and he follows even though it's slow so from here so i can set boom 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 and i can you can see if i put myself there he's already going over because i have the position already in play okay so from here and then now little trick with this for the partner i want him to fall a little bit for me i don't want to try to throw him per se really hard i want him to go with it so if you have a partner when you go in have them give and not let him jump but give in to the throw very easily so you can have the idea of where you're going okay so from here so if i move in cody's going to be pretty much going with me with this one he's not going to be tight or stiff he's just going to relax and he's going to give in to the throw and just do a break fall basically over my frame and that gives me the ability to be able to feel where i should be and how the throw should um, be executed so from here that okay okay The last part is the execution, the power that comes into it. What I want to do with this particular throw is I want to think about the end of the throw. So when I get my frame in, the power comes like, like chopping wood, where you're kind of like, like this. Your head comes down, your arms come down in between, and you kind of pop up a little bit. So you want to feel that position there. So from here, like this, it's you can see bah, like that also you can rotate through so from here just continue to throw okay so you have the whole throw the frame the entry, okay, the, throw, the actual execution, and the actual power. So give that a shot. Any comments, put them down below. Subscribe. Talk to you guys next week. Take care.